Hello my little woolly. In today's tutorial you will learn how to knit the rose stitch. It's a four row repeat pattern. It's not reversible. This is the other side of the work. I'm not sure if this is a Shetland lace pattern but it looks like it. It has a beautiful texture to it and if you're going to knit a wrap, a shawl, a scarf or any other garment that should stay flat, don't forget to add a nice edge on each side of the piece, for example in seed stitch. So enough chatting. Grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of six, for example six times three, eighteen plus one, nineteen plus two, 21. Those last two are edge or selvage stitches. We will start with a setup row of row zero. This row will be worked once and won't be repeated again. So we're going to purl every stitch and I'm going to speed it up so this way the video is not too long. Just pour across the row. When I get to the last one, only on this first row, I like to work it through the back loop. So I'm going to pour the last one through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Okay, first row, right side of the work. We'll start with knit one, the edge stitch, and now comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net, and there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So the repeat is knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit three together, one, two, three. Make sure you're taking the three of them and knit them together. Yarn over, knit one. That's it. Let's do it again. Knit two, one, Two. Yarn over. Knit three together. One, two, three. Together. Yarn over. Knit one. Once more. Knit two. One, two. Yarn over. Knit three together. One, two, three. together. Yarn over, knit one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are two stitches left, ending with knit one and knit the last, the edge stitch. Row two. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and now comes the repeat. Purl two together. Yarn over for one. Yarn over for two together. And for one. Do you see how different it is to make the yarn over before a purl stitch? Let's do it again. The repeat is purl two together. Yarn over. This way you are doing just one yarn over and you get the yarn in front of the work to do the purl stitch. Yarn over again. Purl two together. Purl one. Once more. This will be my last repeat. 
when you get to the last repeat, you will see there will be something different. Purl two together. That's the same. Yarn over. Purl one. Yarn over. Purl two together. And here comes the change. We are not going to purl the last one. Only on this last repeat. We're going just to knit the last one. Okay? So, I have finished my repeat. There are two stitches left and now I have to knit one and knit the last, the edge stitch. Row three. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, and now comes the repeat. Yarn over, knit three together, yarn over, knit three. One, two, three. That's it. Let's do it again. Yarn over, knit three together, yarn over, knit three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left. Ending with net two, one, two, and net the last, the edge stitch. Fourth and last row. We start with net one, the edge stitch, net another one, and now comes the repeat. Yarn over, purl two together, purl one, purl two together, yarn over, purl one. That's it. Let's do it again. Yarn over, purl two together, Pearl one, pearl two together, one, two together, yarn over, pearl one. This will be my last repeat and as we did in row two, the last stitch won't be a pearl one, it will be a net one, so pay attention. The last repeat only. Yarn over, purl two together, purl one, purl two together, and instead of doing yarn over purl one, we're going to yarn over knit one. So, yarn over, knit one, and knit the last the edge stitches. So this is it. These four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off knitwise facing the right side of the work after row four. And this is everything for today, my little willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!